and concentrate fire. That's all I'm saying, dude. Sorry. No, you're good, dude. Alright, boom. Welcome to a podcast. Okay, we're in it now. That is what it is, dude. Apparently. So I thought it was broken, on? but it's not. So what's been going on, dude? Um, I don't know. Nothing much? Nope. And nothing new. No, nah, fuck. There's gotta be something. <laughs> There's gotta be something to Same it. old, same old, you know what I'm saying? Same old work, same old fucking bullshit. Yep. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what do you mean, same old, same old? What is this? <laughs> like these grunge artists fucking vibe, dude. Same old, same old. I don't know, maybe I'm getting to like that point where I'm just like, every day, it's like, I'm gonna be that guy. Like, every day I have a story about some shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like every day it'll just be something fucking brand new with my dumbass. Oh, just any type of story? Like, just writing, like, you're writing, like, an Odysseus tale? Like, oh, I will. I'm just talking about, like, you go to work and just some bullshit happens and you just come back and you just want to vent about it. And then, like, what else? I don't know. Losing my train of thought. You think getting sleepy is gay? Uh, yeah. It's kind of gay. I don't know, dude. Are you one of those guys that fucking falls asleep with their hand on their dick? Because that's a little gay. That's gay, right? Like, yeah, no, yeah. You going gotta, to sleep is for you. You gotta, you gotta try, just try to not do that. You, you get sometimes. sleepy. You want to cuddle up onto a blanket. It's pretty gay, dude. It's pretty, I would never get sleepy. Dude, the only time I get sleepy is probably at like 4 in the morning when I actually go to bed. And I'm just like, alright, fuck it. I gotta sleep, dude. I'm playing Hell Divers until the cows come home tonight, dude. I gotta get your account information. Oh, yeah. I can probably just generate a friend killer. I think I have crossplay on. Roger that. I'm glad that's not an exclusive, man, because they could have totally made that like a PS5, uh, I PS5 exclusive. I would kill myself. No, it had just been bullshit because it's like, <coughs> why would we, It's like everything needs to be cross platform, in my opinion. Well, I would have went to war with Japan. That was just like it's probably like them just being passive aggressive about the you know, Sony. <laughs> yeah, the the old one two we gave them back in the day. They're probably fucking. That's why they were trying to like fuck up the servers and stuff. I believe it was like revenge, like kamikaze know. style revenge. And I think if they made it an exclusive, I would once again make an atom bomb and hit Nagasaki and Hiroshima. No, for every fucking... Wherever listen, dude, they get their revenge every day, man. Every time a white dude in, like, fucking the suburbs is like, I want a fucking Honda, f- a Honda Civic. Kind of, dude, Jack Cars rule. They did get us there. They yeah. nuked us and they That's just made they the coolest road, cars dude. ever. They're like, they're just, we're just going to make the dopest shit. It's an argument for nukes because it kind of fixed them. No, they were wi- they were wild with that. What do you, and then I they started them. making cool shit after that. I love the Japanese like now. And I love that. the Japanese and their bush- in their uh, bushido culture type stuff. Dude, where yeah, like, if World War Two never happened, we wouldn't have anime. Do we wouldn't have shit? See, I think you're right. I don't think we'd have shit. Their production sucked back then, like in the twenties when they started imperialism. Well, they were traditionalists. <laughs> <laughs> like they were isolationist traditionalists. Well, and then they got popped to be imperialists, dude, and they started acting up. Yeah, they started acting up pretty bad, but. The nukes corrected them, I think, and then they started making fucking Hondas, and Mitsubishi stopped making suicide planes and started making fucking Evos. And- yeah, all right, now, but like, okay, let's say, cars. let's say, like, let's say, like, you're talking about a nuclear bomb. Like, let's talk about Dude. nuclear energy. Oh. Like, what about, like, fucking, like, did Chernobyl make Ukraine a better place? Like, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. No, whatever, dude. They're fucking. Oh no, yeah. Right they, well, if you think about it, they weren't Soviet after that anymore. That happened, and very shortly after, <laughs> they were like, they were, we're no longer Soviet. We're, we're, I don't That's know. That's a man. W. I just feel like I didn't think it made their country better at all. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, they made their country better, but they <laughs> at, least nuclear were, fall at least they weren't Soviet. That's like incrementally better than. <laughs> I, 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 I would, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I would take nuclear fallout over being a Soviet. So, oh, easily, and it's barely any, <laughs> not much fallout. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fallout. Dude. It was a lot. <laughs> Worst nuclear disaster. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Look, okay, but so you see, you can control the wind. The problem with the fallout is the wind. So you use the weather control. <laughs> yeah, and it goes wind. south and it affects people that don't even fucking... <laughs> no, you, you, you just get rid of the wind. You use weather control to get rid of the wind. <laughs> it's the radiation oh, that's the problem. No, well, I think it is the radiation. <laughs> well, no, but the wind, the wind, that's just you can localize it. <laughs> right, that's true. But then true. the wind blows You just haul in fans to Ukraine or around Chernobyl. You blow it when we but blow it, dude. There's fuck, countries surrounding you. just fucking you, tornado right? it somehow, right? Well, you think there's... <laughs> They, they just like, point it north to Russia. We like, fuck off. it out into space. We push it into Poland. Like I don't think I think Poland would be a little pissed for a little while. Did we need it? They're gonna it. reverse no. it. No, that's really good idea. Poland. We hit the border states <laughs> and we make a buffer zone between the U. but between Russia and us. Bam. And World War Three. <laughs> oh no no no. World peace possibly. No. <laughs> yes, dude. Just possibly after a turn World War Three. Old Russian satellite states in the nuclear wasteland. We get Rayquaza and teach it bide so it gets hit and then uses the power that you just got hit with to force it back. We could do that too. Enhance the spell, dude. I'm not even I sure. I cast cancel. What you said? <laughs> but it sounded like That was a, a Pokemon reference right there. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> I think Rayquaza could feed a nuclear bomb. That's basically <laughs> Hyper Beam. Great Quasa sounds like a I don't know. Meteor smash. <laughs> Meteor smash, dude. Meteor, like, you telling me our nuclear bombs, like, fucking stand a test to a meteor? A meteor? Like, come on, dude. A meteor I mean, it depends on the size of the meteor. Okay, maybe not a meteor, but what about an ash? Well, okay, but, like, meteor <laughs> hits directly on your location. Are you happy? <laughs> No. No, exactly. You, know you don't have a chance. Yeah. You know, honestly, you hope it's because if you see like the flash and then like a big boom, there's a chance it's a small meteor. I know, but what if it's sma- but even if it's a small meteor, like what if it fucking slams it? Like in that fucking story, I'm like, remember a thousand ways to die? Like way back in yeah. the day. I don't because like the blast though. force was just No, there was a guy who got killed by a meteorite. Uh, like he was at a party, like trying to get people to worship his cult or whatever. Like that was the story. That sounds like someone meteor. shot that guy in the head, dude. <laughs> it sounds like it, dude. I don't know how they tied it to a meteor, dude. Because they found like a rock. guy in a, a guy in a helicopter shooting him. It's a meteorite. <laughs> they found the 12 gauge pellet in his head and they caught some meteor. It's fucking. Target acquired. In his brain. <laughs> fucking helicopter on a rooftop. Just <laughs> Good job. Good job. He never saw it coming, bro. Um, how did they. How do we, like, you know when you go through an area and it says uh, speed enforced by aircraft? Yeah. So, like, is that like helicopters with, like, Apache helicopters or something? No, or no, no. I like, think, I mean, I do think it does mean that in glider. the sense that, like, a helicopter will enforce your speed or something. Yeah, I don't know but they can't they just fucking delete you. I hope not. Because <laughs> they, they, they did like, warn us. Could you imagine, <laughs> they, was a You're just chilling in traffic and a dude, like, fucking cuts you off and you're like, God damn it. And all of a sudden, no, not even just dun, 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 good. 30 Honestly, million. yeah, good. Just 30 mic mic. I, just bum, 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 just lights his car to shit. And you're just like, uh, uh, highway enforced by air traffic. It's like, yeah. boy, it's fucking, like, a ten. Just well, if I'm still in the rage of like him cutting me off. If he cuts me off and I almost crash a little bit, and then that immediately happens, I'm like, good. <laughs> Honestly, good. I hope there's a family of three in there. I don't, dude. I'd be like, oh fuck me, dude. No, look, I would drive so paranoid, dude. Any little thing I did, I'd be like, you know, I'm gonna walk. I would get out I'm and start walk. walking. I was just about to say, I'd get out and just start walking. I think. Like, let me get fucking fifty yards, and then you can light my car up if you want to. I don't give a fuck. That's how it's gonna be, dude. I think. You know? I I can't wait till we're in a purely digital society, right? And with like all automated cars, you know. See, that would be weird. That that's gonna be a fucking crazy future if it ends up. I that, feel like it's gonna be like the, the sad thing is though the way things are going. I feel like we're gonna live in like a Wall-E world, bro, where it's just nothing but convenience, convenience, convenience. I feel like we already live in that. Damn it, dude. dude. I think it's gonna be just like Wall-E. Like we get in fucking beds and we just stay there oh, from the end of time. <laughs> I want a zombie apocalypse so bad, dude. It'll never happen. Some dude. sort of cool apocalypse. It's just, I mean, I want to just. It's gonna be. It's like if anything, it's gonna be fucking stalker. That's, no, all. Exactly. Be cool. that's the I best we get. I don't get. want like the road. You know that like the book the 
McCarthy. It might be like whatever. that. I don't want that. That's more likely than what it would be. But I don't want that. There was one where it was just, just electricity turned off. That was the only thing. And that would fuck society, dude. If we just all EMP? electricity. Just, I mean, it was just... You can EMP by air bursting a nuke. That, and that might be sick. This, yeah, that would be no, the best case scenario. No, we live in a blackout situation. I want more zombies because there's that's more people with guns uh, active and not trying just trying to fight you. With the zombie apocalypse, I feel like that evens out the dudes with guns shooting at you. But you're still gonna get in gunfights, but way less than. Because just like I mean, it just gives zombies. you all a common enemy, you know, with all your like, you know, not zombie friends. Yeah, zombies would be sick. Just immediately, but I feel like I know, but I feel like in our in like today's society, like knowing everything we know about zombies, like they wouldn't fucking stand a chance. I, well, something. I hope that we. It would have to take a chance. bunch of people out all at once. I would and hope, fucking raise yeah. them from the dead. That would fucking. rule. That would rule so heavy. It's like because no if it's just like the very first case. No well, you see, I mean, like I like somebody's got, gonna smash that thing. Like it would just I'm be like, like you know, <laughs> it's gotta be. It would be like an extra dimensional being, like head grabbing. It's like you know, it's definitely like. Oh, fucking go half life for us. No, 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 dude. Like an alien <laughs> invasion. Like so, they send like I the think, first wave is like a fucking infection. That's so if, if zombies actually happen, I don't think it's gonna be like a virus like that. Cause like that's not like a thing. Like cortis like like a zombie wouldn't be like aggressive. You think it would be like Rabies. a parasite that takes It over. would just like try to get to near the roof. Every zombie they wouldn't be attacking people, they would just try to get to the roof and just like release spores. But no. Oh, like fucking cordyceps yeah. or something? Yeah. <laughs> Rabies though. Rabies triggers know. the brain to try to like spread it. Like I know, but what, I, what I'm Super saying is, it's like the very first case wouldn't fucking stand a chance. Like as soon as he's snarling and biting, some dude's gonna I crack mean, that thing with a claw. I don't know, but what if he's got like? There's a lot of fucking homeless heroin addicts out there just passed out on the street that when they are zombified would wake up pissed. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it is kind of like like I am legend, right? Like, yeah, kind of is where it, like that's where. That's it, what it would probably be like an injection. Like somebody'd be like, oh, let's let's fucking like I don't know. I would believe a government would be like, let's give this injection. We're gonna fucking forward mankind and then turn them into way worse shit. I don't know, man. I just want to live off the fat of the land. <clears throat> I'd have to work at nine to five and like maybe like. Get in, like, fight off a bandit raid every once in a while. If I ever get enough Bad money, rule. dude, I'm digging a bunker. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna buy an old railway car and I'm gonna bury dude, it. Dude, you know, like, f there's this property that, like, my uncle owns. It's, like, down in southern Ohio, and it's just, like, you definitely, like, I think, bunkerable. It's just, See, you know, it's that's just the woods. I it's, like, the problem is you can't get a car there because there's so much woods. Well, I just need a lot of woods. land. And then, like, I'm building my bunker, and then I'm gonna build my house on top of my bunker. So when shit goes bad, I got a fucking gigantic. I've been buying train cars for the past <laughs> twenty years, like, you know, and I've, I've buried fucking fifteen train cars. It would rule so hard. You're right. An EMP would rock. It's, it would have to be like yes. a fucking regular situation. It would have to be that. Like so, it would be like a fucking nuclear air burst EMP that would yeah, so knock out fucking all the power. Cause our power grids are fucked. <coughs> if you look in the United States, yeah, and if it hits anywhere, it's gonna do like the whole like country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at least for a while. And shit. I don't know. I look at those maps they have on Reddit, and it's like alternate America. It's like the Pacific state. Or yeah, you, you know. it's going to miss to robot it, and they're just going to hack money, and then money's going to be destroyed. Well, and that's going to be like, it's like the worst apocalypse. It's the money. No, yeah, you're devaluing your currency. But that's already happening. We're well, kind of the best, too. I mean, I don't know. Well, uh, oh. You know, I don't have a reason to not just kill the government now. To <laughs> overthrow the government for being huge pieces of shit. Oh. I'm not in wage slavery anymore. The shackles have been taken off. Can't wait. We might be able to fix stuff. Probably won't. It'll just be bands of bigger retards taking fighting everything over. Fighting over something until yeah. the bigger retards. And then everybody forgets what they're fighting over in the first place, and now it's just back to the same thing. But for a moment there, there'd be some sort of purpose. And we'd, there would be some sort of... It would of be only our generation. It would be the people who remember, and then when their fucking kids take over, they go, they're going to fuck up. It would be like the first 20 to 30 years after the Red Army took over, like Russia. It would be like that. It was like, damn, we did it. We overthrew the bad guys. We're living well. Oh shit, we're fighting Germany, but we're doing good. That's what it would feel like. Germany just invaded and took half our country. We're gonna have to fight back at Stalingrad. Not give it up. But I mean, it'd be fun, you know, people would probably just go back to like more like basic recreational type activities, right? Maybe a lot of cornhole. I, I think that we see a big <laughs> cornhole insurgents, you know? You think cornhole? <laughs> I hope not, dude. I think there's already too much cornhole. <laughs> I, I think there's not enough. It's, it's already, already a huge, just not enough. It's, already, it's, it's already a huge event at the fucking, fair, dude. You'll see dozens of It's fucking... Oh, I know, you can't fucking throw a rock without hitting a fucking <laughs> cornhole board with all that. <laughs> what do you think? Is it horseshoes or euchre? 
Oh, we're playing a bad uh, shoot. Yeah, I think I'm, hillbilly hand grenades. I don't want to play you. <laughs> We should try you. Th- like is that the, the shit calls. with the mallets? It's the jet. It's no. It's the card game with the jokers. Joker, Joker, do says. Can we play Rummy and Spade? We can play, play um, just any card game. Let's stage. just say with card game. That's a card game. Euchre's any card, card game. game. What about? I'm down for any card. Or game. ERS. That's a fun one. Pet when I'm old, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm do that old guy that's just sitting in his fucking thing playing solitaire. <laughs> solitaire. Can I hold? Can I brandish that rifle? Uh, sh- are you sure? It's, it's loaded. I mean, I guess it's just a prop. It's not a real gun. Have well, another simply. Speedy gun. Have another simply lemonade, Gavin. Yeah, dude. Have some. I think I should have a weapon and a beverage. Thank you. What is that watermelon? Water. It's not gonna. Bad. They're not bad. Thank you. I don't. Know, I, don't th- I don't think it's. It that is a red rider. Yeah, dude. It's classic. That's dope. Don't pull Do it. Do I have like Annie Oakley? They might just be ready to go, I don't know. Can I shoot it? I mean, it'll be loud. Yeah. It won't be good for that. <laughs> well, you gotta shoot we your thing up really that, close right? in there. Because you tried to hit it before and it's like they won't even aim. That's fair. I'm just gonna keep it here. Let me see that thing real quick. You can see that thing. See that dang thing? You do have a hey. perfect place to shoot. <laughs> like right out the window? I don't know, like, we'll just... You it could is. get like a set a little thing outside that would catch the BBs. Wait, aim. No, it's safe. Oh, okay. I put it on safe. This thing's nice though, man. That thing's cool. Oh, it's just like you can't aim it. It doesn't even go. How are we supposed to talk about? What are we supposed to do? Well, this, this one. We, no, I mean, I feel like, you know, I think I we should think pick. We should pick. Well, you guys know like a lot about like history and war and stuff, right? Yeah. So, why. Like, What's the what's the beginning of time? <laughs> Wait, that was crazy, right? Wait, I'm not being an asshole. That was crazy. Okay? <laughs> it was nuts. What is the beginning of time? Oh, you guys know about war. That's and a stuff. very loaded question. Yeah, you guys know about the war and stuff. <laughs> How, How did this like? all happen? What was it like at the beginning of that? Going to a civil war guy and being like, no, hey, but like, what was the, about the big bang? So what was the, no, but like, what was? <laughs> you know, on this on this podcast, we'll discuss like the, you know pre pre prehistory of the history, but and then um, well, like the earliest war. Like, what then, is the early? What was like yeah, maybe so, the earliest then, war? But then even that? before that, like, okay, there was like you know. Cavemen, like yeah, I don't think they even believe in that stuff. I know, but even potentially in like a bigger c- civilization too. But yeah. but yeah, no. But then it's like, where is like, what's the earliest point that that you would consider to be like history? I mean, like what's like uh, that you would even know of? The Sumerians. Yeah, Sumerians. That's what the Sorry. Yeah, it's the Sumerians and their cunes. That's, for, that's first that's recorded. Ennial, sorry, that's Ennial, the goddess of Sumeria. He's fucking... Egypt. Egypt is old as fuck. I think Sumer is older than Egypt. Sumer. By like a good amount. Their creation myth is sci-fi shit. They're my favorite creation myth. They like came from Planet X, Nibiru or whatever. And like fucking, they were made to be slaves, and there's a bunch of iterations before us, and they say that's like what the Bible calls Nephilim. Or you, those yeah, you about this, the tablets, the Sumerian tablets. Yeah, the cuneiform tablets. Yeah, yeah. That was like the earliest piece of like written. Yeah. And they found those and like deciphered those. I don't know how the fuck they deciphered that. That's probably bullshit. No, I watched the one concrete podcast where the guy like talks about those like a ton, and then. It's like, it's funny because I was also watching One Piece and it's like, wow, it's like One Piece is definitely based off of the ancient Sumerian texts. It it's cool as fuck, dude. It mentions the Nephilim and then it was like, humans are these <laughs> slaves, bless you. Like, humans were slaves meant to mine gold for these things and they're supposed to come back and like... I know, but gold isn't uncommon. <clears throat> no, but like, they say it is sort of, like in the universe. Not in the so universe. Spread apart and stuff. But it's not like more uncommon, less common than water. Yeah, but you, like gotta, you can like, get gold from anywhere. It's like you Mars gotta get it. Gold. You know, it's like instead of like how do we, do we know we get gold? It's like you know, but it's like you have the to, only thing that the only thing we found out. Sorry, you still have to get it. You still have to scrape it off the surface somehow, dude. And you're not going to do it yourself. So you have to create the mechanism, which is a human, to go and like get it. 
Yeah, you know? especially if you have like. Why aren't you gonna do it yourself? Hair? Cause you because hair you can make a human to do it. Like you, yeah. you're, like okay, you're like you, you know, <laughs> like once. But if they made humans, then why just humans? Why they make? Well, there might be more stuff all over the place. Or maybe we're easy to make. Maybe we're easily clonable because there's a lot of maybe the universe or the galaxy or whatever it is. I don't know. Creates man. a lot of these bipedal things. To me, this sounds too much like the Cthulhu mythos. And that shit freaks me out. Sumer Sumerian shit is sort of like that. But it mentions like the Nephilim and like Planet X and all that cool ass shit. It's like a sci fi movie, dude. No, it's like there was like one guy who's like trying to make like, you know, just like a robot monkey who would just like mine gold for him. But then like there was like another god who was like, yo, actually we should make him like smart like us so they can like also create stuff. But then he secretly did it, so it's like it's like Prometheus, right? Where he like gives him the fire. Right. Yeah. It's like that type thing. Where um, it's like Well yeah, and then why use why use like a hoe to like garden an acre for your farm when you have a fucking diesel engine like thing? And like I guess like the human would be that diesel engine thing. I don't think maybe like we're just made for like slave mining, but it is a cool idea. <coughs> yeah, dude, but now we want it crazy, dude. Now we want like uh I don't know, but have you ever, have you ever like, had, like, a lot of gold? What? Have you ever had, like, just a lot of gold, like, in your hand, you know? Yeah, like, I've had a lot of gold. <laughs> so, you know, so it didn't, it didn't magnetically attract you. It wasn't, no. like... <laughs> yeah, you weren't, like, like, I need this, and you I didn't, didn't need to base my currency you off didn't, this you for didn't, the rest you of the forever. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel the gold fever? That <laughs> Our no. entire, like, history, it's just been based off gold. <laughs> like, it's, you know I what I mean? I don't know, man, maybe it I wasn't mean, I guess metals. I get what you're saying. I mean, I think it's, it's always cool. been precious metals. Maybe it wasn't real gold. I've had a gold ingot in my hand. Why have we always cared about precious metals? metal so much though what does that matter uh, they're non-magnetic is the only thing we know about them really it's like that's like mm -hmm. well it conducts electricity pretty well and stuff so it's like useful for like electric electronics yeah they use well they fucking gold wrap everything when they send it up in space dude how do we know to melt shit down I don't know, metallurgy. But how did we learn metallurgy? Yeah. I know, but like, I don't think you give us enough credit for how dumb no. somebody can be. I don't believe like the greatest inventions ever were invented by a smart person. Like, here's that's the thing. fair. That's I mean, fair. Like, I believe he was like, what if I set fucking iron on fire? Think about this shit. No, it's right? like, this, this like, it's like three guys like us sitting around, like, I'm gonna do something no one's ever done before. And there's like, what? What are you gonna do? It's I like, guess I'm gonna melt bronze down. It like, is the what? monkey with the typewriter thing, sort of, right? It's like there's so many of us for so long, right? So it's like, at some, at point, some point, someone's point, gonna, do gonna do some, some bullshit. And then, like that. and then their fucking village is gonna do it. And like, dude, we can make shit out of this. Like, oh, fuck. It's like, you yeah, know what I mean? I honestly think it was like the bellows and like a hot, hot fire. That's what like, I'm saying. Alchemy, like, somebody just it's like the alchemical fire, you have to get like a stupid hot, like, ooh. Like white, wet, red, hot, like hot, hot furnace. No, so yeah. you have these fillers, and they just like, you know, the first guy who fucking started doing that and just kept doing it more and more and got a bigger and bigger bellows and made this hotter and hotter little fire and put more and more shit in there. And eventually he figured out that like this shit would melt at this temperature. And like, they, they might have even like understood like distillation at that point, like making alcohol and like, you know, a basic still. Fermentation, probably. Probably fermentation. Yeah. I wouldn't know about distillation. But if you understand like distillation, then you would definitely try to do that with metal it's kind of the same thing we're like steel I, guess, like I know what you mean but that's what I'm saying maybe they aluminum. figured it out with yeah, metal shit, and like shit like first sand to turn it to glass blast yeah, and yeah. Shit. It's like, and they then they kept ended up. putting shit in there, and eventually. No, like, seriously, it's like, how many people have stood around a fire and just like thrown something what, in exactly. there? Yeah. Just that's what I was gonna say too. Like, or it's well, like somebody's probably okay, standing why there. Can't, why can't we burn rocks, guys? No, or someone it's like, had whoa, the fire dude, pit. That fucking a piece of bronze is glowing. Yeah, yeah it's someone, like, dude, and then it turns into a liquid, and they're like, holy yeah. fuck! Someone put some of the rocks at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're like, all right, this will be a good plate for a rock or our fire or whatever. And then yeah, it fucking starts glowing. They're like. Yeah, what the fuck? And it's like, because it's like, like, here's another basic question. It's like, who learned to, like, eat animals? It's like, well, I mean, wolves do it, but how did people know how to do they it? They probably saw those do it. It's like, you know how much so goes into that, that goes something? back to, like, They probably amoebas, saw them do it. Like, but they didn't no. seem to cook their food or nothing. Like, well, you know, that life. might be another one of those accident things where it's like, yo, fucking... Throw it on the fire. Yeah, hey, this made me throw up last time I ate it, so, like, let's, like, cleanse it with this weird magic thing we figured out a few weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, heating up food is definitely, um, I think like, hot sauce was invented to keep animals away from it. Right. Capsaicin, yeah. Ca like, yeah, capsaicin. Like, we'd, like, humans, like, would always just, like, make, nice. and, like, pepper and shit, it's, like, just, like, makes it so that animals, like, don't want to eat it as much. But it, like, we, like, fuck it up and make it all weird and spicy. Well, yeah, I think it, uh, 
it does something to like your brain though where it like releases dopamine and they say that's why people like it so much is because it's like a dopamine really because if you eat something really spicy i fucking love spicy wings and love shit like that food. so like when when i'm sitting there like dying a little bit it kind of feels good no, it's yeah, you're like, you're happy shit. about it. Like, you're this like, tastes oh, so, this good. so good. <laughs> exactly. I'm lit up right now. And I'm crying, like, you're yeah. sweating. It's awful. But then you're but you're eating it, dude. Like, I had some fucking really hot Thai green curry one time. I don't know what the fuck so was in it. I got it at a restaurant. And I fucking, I just ate it. And I was like, oh my god, dude. I was crying, but it was like tears of joy and curry. so good. Yo, the earliest war shit, though, like, the cool, they had cool shit, like the Addle Addle. That was cool as fuck. Yeah, like we're I've talking about those, early dude. warfare, like fucking shit. They had those like weird, is the adult the adult the stick and the spear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the one with the? They have like a weird club. I, I don't know if it was Africans or if it was Athenians or something like that. But they had this weird like curved ball thing, like a lacrosse right. fucking thing, and they would just whip that fucking thing at people's heads. It was either like the Northern Africans or the Athenians, but I can't remember. That shit was cool as fuck. But if you're talking about like what were the very first wars like? I mean, that's, you know... And just, it was just, probably, like, family feuds. Dude. It probably, yeah, tribal shit. Like, yeah, real weird, feud. like, gorilla. It's like my like family jungle. that I live with in the mountains. It doesn't, like, your oh, family like, that lives there in the is valley. That? No, it's probably, What's like, the, date the BCs, of that? bro. Like, before oh, Roman like before, BCs. Yeah, before Roman BCs. Don't even know, like, how, many, cool. how many BCs. I mean, I read the Bible, and in the Bible, it's like, I got, like, five... I got 50 of my cousins, and they got 50 friends. and Or they got, like, a friend apiece. 10 friends each, or whatever. So they have 500 fucking guys. And they go and they attack a fucking force. And, like, that was, like, big shit. Like, you know, yeah. oh, my God, he has 500 dudes. Yeah, so you're talking about biblical wars. There was, there was kind of a lot I'm of... I'm just kind of using that as a reference. Like, yeah, yeah. Shit. like, you know, like, you're going to win this war. Just go to war. And then they're like, oh, we're so scared. We're not going to win. They're like, what the fuck? Oh, God. I said, you ha- we're going to definitely win this war. And they're like, okay, we'll go over there and see those other guys. And you'll get proof that... That you will win the war, and they went over there, and the other guy saw it open, and then he's like, yo. Listen, do you read the Bible and the war stories, dude? You're like... I think it's fucking oh the old school wars though. Or <laughs> oh, probably gorilla, like gorilla, like have yeah, you seen like the Chimp Empire, like Chimp Empire, like shit like that, where it's like, yo, they they like, just fucking mob their they're shit. They're hunting our fucking deer, and now the deer aren't coming over here anymore. We gotta go fuck them up, and it was probably like. 20 to 30 dudes just like fucking hitting a camp at night and bouncing back in like bouncing back away I'm telling you dude it was like family feuds it was like you have you you and like fucking 50 of your family members going to fucking war against like fucking 48 of their family members and that's how like all the civilization shit started too like yo we live by the river yeah, this is my this buddy. This is our river. And I'm the leader of this village, and he's the leader of that, of that village. So down the river. Combine, yeah. yeah, and, we're and gonna, now, so we're going to become a thing. That's how Sumer started, then, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, at one point, is that, like, even close to, like, then, like, when Genghis Khan did whatever he did? <laughs> Genghis, no, Khan? Genghis Khan raped most of the planet. Genghis Khan was, dude, Genghis Khan was way re- more recent than you think. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, that was yeah. way more, like, 1300s. <laughs> yeah, like, it was very... Like, very, like okay. there was, like... Like, there's really? fucking yeah, yes. there's yeah, there's like Asian yeah. like close but to the Renaissance Hungarians and shit. Dude, the, the Hungarians had the Great Migration. <laughs> Dude, the, the, um, Dan Carlin's hardcore history. I was fucking landscaping, just fucking tweaked out of my mind on caffeine and nicotine. Dude, listening about the Mongols for like two days straight because they're like eight hour long episodes, and I'm just fucking. Dude, this motherfucker was nuts. Dude, he was so sick. Like he would fucking like launch bodies. Yeah, play <laughs> bodies. Yeah, like, um, and then he would like cut off all the women's head and launch it into the fucking town and like do crazy. He so would. Then, but then, so then, before that was in like uh, medieval time. Medieval yeah, time. Medieval time was like horses and knights. Yeah. Depending on so where you were at. Medieval time. Was that even real? Yes. Yeah, I believe. I don't know. I don't think a medieval. I think medi- I think a medieval time is a conspiracy. No, <laughs> I don't believe that. It's, it's, it's a weird conspiracy where they I think flip it's the a, time zones. Yeah, where they, they, it's like, like the missing century where they are. Lying about what time, or they're in, or it's just a not real period of time that they just made up and inserted. I know, but then you gotta be like, is World but War those, One real? Yeah, well, those things you have to really though. start questioning, like, like the path is <laughs> that you know what I mean? The 1300s was pretty recent, like, in how governments are set up now. So, like, give it 200 years and it looks pretty modern, you know what I mean? From right. 1300 to like 1500 or 1600, yeah, it 
the borders and shit are sort of modern, how they are. France, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, all that shit. The German Confederate. Well, that was before and the these, German Confederate. Yeah, and these motherfuckers... Germany's way younger than you think. We're tearing dudes up from, like, the... I think, like, the 900s to, like, the 12 or 1300s. Genghis Khan might... But they were fucking shit up for a while. I might be really wrong about the 1300s thing, <laughs> but they were... Yeah, they, like, went all the way to China and Japan... They rolled up to Japan with bodies attached to their boats from the islands around Japan. And, like, we're like, yo, what's up? <laughs> like, the we throwing hands or what? They were just, like, I think it was around, it actually might have been way earlier than that because I think it was when that meteor hit during the Dark Ages. So I think, like, the Dark Ages shit happened where the meteor hit and all the sky was blacked out. I think it's, like, five something. Like what? 532. Is that real? Yeah. Is that real? Look up the worst year in history. Look up the worst year in history. Have you got a phone? Worst year in history. Yeah, look up the worst year in history. It, a meteor hit, blacked out the sky, like in everywhere. I'm pretty sure, and I think shortly after that, the Mongols happened. I think uh, there's like that one book. What, like the the Yankee and the King Arthur's Court? You ever read that book? No. What's that? It's about? about a guy who's like he just like he's like in like this uh, this place right there, but then he like gets like conked in the head by like a hatchet or something. And he falls down with it, like wakes up, and then he's like in like the medieval times, like in King Arthur's court. But then he's like a scientist and shit, so he knows history, and then he predicts like an eclipse, and so he uses it and, and convinces everyone that he's like a magician because he's like they tie him up and they're like, "Who are you? What the fuck? We're gonna kill you and shit." And then he's like, "Yo, if you don't fucking let me go, I'm gonna blot out the sun." Oh, fuck. and then. Then, that might be what because it was around that time and then the eclipse happens and then because he knew it was about to happen and he's like do it let me go I blot out the sun and everyone's like oh Bro. what the fuck you blot out the sun what the hell it's 536 <laughs> the volcanic the volcanic winter of 536 caused by a volcanic eruption early in the year causing average temperatures in Europe and China to decline and result in crop failures and famine for well over a year and also Genghis Khan was 1206 to 1368, which is kind of nuts. And I think just like a like like what like 60, 70 years before that, it was like the Battle of Hastings. And yeah, yeah, like a, yeah. Damn, that shit was cool. But yeah, it was probably bows and arrows and weird tribe shit at the beginning. It was probably like fucking like even before that, like it would probably just be like I have a fucking pole, like you know I got a fucking club. We probably should. Like, I got my sling that I made. We probably should pick a topic. Yeah, no, that's why I think we should we should start here at like you know pre prehistory and then start at like a the first like concrete like solid like topic of like you know you get to a point where it's like actual war that you could like make a topic of, right? Yeah, well, it's probably all just tribes, right? So it's all these tribes trying to fight over. I bet they're all fighting over equestrians. So like any like river or any creek or anything they're just trying to get that land near the creek and the river because there's animals there's food or they're they learning how to grow crops it's yeah. either democracy or a war yeah and they're learning how to grow crops and i think they accidentally learned how to grow crops because they were all collecting by these rivers and they'd throw their food scraps out and they'd stay by the river still and then one day they'd come back and there'd be new plants growing and they're like yo we could probably do this and that's like how they say like the sumerians and shit started learning like uh like farming and shit because i the think this river valley the in this river valley and i think uh like the Nord chico yeah what's fucking i think the mines were popping off around that time too actually already had pyramids the lads in the jungle dude yeah at what point did they build the fucking gigantic pyramids that got buried in mud i don't know but they're there they're probably there the whole time i think it's the fucking species with amnesia theory I like that one a lot. But fucking, yeah, they were fucking... Ancient Stonehenge. You, can you imagine their fucking battles? Jungle battles? Mayan fucking jungle battles? Or like an apocalypto. One day you're just fucking sleeping in your... You're just sleeping in your village and these fucking... I'm sure that's what it was like for a lot of dudes. people, dude. That was yeah. what, that's what it was like. They just like come out and kidnap your family and kill everyone you know, dude. And then just take you into the jungle and sacrifice you on a pillar to the yeah. sun. Yes, I mean... It's fucking nuts. Praise Ra. I, like, I don't know what else to say. It's you know the, the, the special. I, mean, the, I get it. The life back in the day was brutal as fuck. I get it. Dude. I mean, dude, what else is like? You know how cold it is outside yeah, that like, night. 
you know how scary nighttime is and then the sun comes out and you're warm? And then all of a sudden it's like every night it's like getting longer and longer so then like not coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like slightly every di- every morning you're like, oh, oh shit, what are we doing off, wrong? Bro. Yeah, we it's fucking like every, every night we're getting like fucking more and more night, less and less sun. The fucking sun's mad. I fucking spanked my kid yesterday and now the fucking sun didn't rise at the same time, dude. I <laughs> fucked up, dude. We gotta fucking kill a goat. <laughs> what should we do? Yeah, what? How do, we, crazy how, do we fix, how do we fix this, dude? Ah, uh, they kill a goat. If we kill a goat, one time I killed a goat and the sun came up quicker the next day, and they're like, "That's all right." I, be- I I believe him, dude. He fucking killed a deer yesterday, dude. He's blessed by the gods. No, that's the demons whispering in the room. They're just dude. like, kill, it, kill, it, kill your children, and they were like, "Okay." I just yeah. I would like that. I think I would like everything to go back to like Tarkov, like you know, like go like back to like tribal shit, but with modern equipment. I don't know. I think that's the. Is a there a time? If there was a time I'd want to live in way back in the day and be like, I don't know. I don't even know. I wouldn't. I don't even know. I would just like go just like like find like a bunch of like Native American artifacts somewhere like in a river valley and then get like my time machine. Watch, I guess, and then just like sit there and just like crank it back until you start to see people run around. <laughs> you go back, but you have to stay. What time period do you pick? World War One. And let's say you go back and you get to speak the language of whatever country you're in as well. Like you go back with the knowledge; it's like injected into your brain before they send you off. It's on some sort of weird mission where they're sending you back in time to collect data, and you have to stay there. And when you die, they suck your body back and take all your brain juice to receive the data on times back then. So this is what you're doing. You're going to learn the language. You're going to be able to, wherever you go, you're going to fit in and be fine. What do you pick? World War One, Germany. World Germany, World War One. <laughs> I'm just going to go any time just on that one island, but whatever. Like, just mine, you know, probably. My pop, 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 <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's like, it doesn't, it's so World War One. The What's that one people? uncontacted island? Um, it's the Seminole Islands or something? The Seminole Islands. Um, Sentinel Islands, those the guy the people, the people, yeah, the people that never developed. The seven are vascular. <laughs> Fucking um, um. So you pick World War One. You wanna go all quiet on the Western Front? Oh yeah, dude. A bold choice. A no, bold I'm choice. going on straight to the Alamo, dude. You want Alamo? Alamo's cool. Fight the lads down Texas way. <laughs> <laughs> No, he wants to be a Mexican. He wants, he wants to be a He's de- he's trying for Mexico's independence. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I picked. Dude. It's like I feel like 9 has replaced the Alamo, right? Because like, it was like you know, room, remember. Nine Eleven has replaced the Alamo. <laughs> 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 the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> the Alamo. The years of the Alamo. Are you could write like a fake, like you could write like a fake think piece on that. Like have ChatGPT write you an alt right. Um, Remember the alt right news article on how 9/11 has become the new Alamo. It would be so fucking funny. <laughs> They're like pissed about it. They're like, dude, everyone forgot about the Alamo. It's all about 9 11 now. <laughs> <laughs> all the Texans. Just because it happened in liberal New York, everyone wants to talk about 9 11. Well, we need to remember the Alamo. The Alamo needs to be remembered. Remember, we need to remember the Lusitania. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, dude. We need to remember the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, we should remember that. We need to remember shit. the Maine. That's a false flag right there, brother. The Gulf of Tonkin was a false flag. Our radar is being glitchy. That's the V. Fucking the V. That's the V. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was a pretty jumpy war I think we jumped in, dude. Like, we were just like, we're so scared of communism that we're going to invade your country to stop it. You know anything about the banana wars? Yeah, the banana republics. Yeah, you know about that, Jared? That's not early enough. We shouldn't talk about that yet, I guess. That isn't early enough. I mean, is that, is that like a big enough war to be like a topic on its own? Not really. I mean, it kind of is. It sort of is. It's kind of fucked up. So is like the, like where America during like the World War One times. There's like another story. Oh, the really? Boxer Rebellion yeah, was a crazy one too. That was the British against the Chinese. Well, it was us too. They sent Americans over there. There's is a, it really? Yeah, there's a dude who uh, they he got sent over there and he the Marines left and he was there by himself and he held off these Chinese boxers for like all night just by himself with a machine gun and like a Springfield and they said the guys over the hill could just hear him fighting all night just go 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 just the machine gun barking and he goes after a while the machine gun stopped and you could tell it was bolt action 
he was fighting with the bolt action. And he goes, hours of that went by, and then that stopped. And he was like, well, that guy's dead. He's like, fuck. So they came back, and they, like, he came back there over the hill after the night's over to go see what happened, like, to be like, damn, homie's dead. We gotta they're go. going to recover him. Yeah, and they're going, and there's just dead Chinese dudes everywhere. And they're walking up, and there's dead Chinese dudes everywhere. And they're getting closer, and there's more dead Chinese dudes. They see dead Americans here and there. And then, like, they get to where he's at, and I guess he's just sitting there, like, smoking a cigar, and he was like, ah, fuck, dude. He was like, I was, he said something funny. I can't remember what the fuck it was, but he was, like, a famous Marine because of that. that shit was crazy as fuck. That's pretty crazy. Uh, boxer, then, during the Boxer Rebellion, dude. That was, like, what, 19? Like, when, when did they... Was was, I thought the Boxer Rebellion was, like, when they threw the opium in the fucking thing. That was the Opium Wars. That was the Opium That was like 60, 1700s or 1800s or something like that with China and Britain. Not to say. Like, Boxer right? Rebellion, what, that, that was kind of the reason yeah, it America was there. it used to be like there. all about this Britain. Just like, Britain's just kind of just like, hey, war, hey, we're, hey, we're, you know, fuck you guys. Hey, you Not guys. Ireland. They started the imperialist shit. They were just like, Let's yo, go Ireland. they are good at imperialism. I feel well. like that's what, like, Emperor Powell was I know, but that's the fucking thing. Of. It's like, everybody wants to believe. It's like, could you imagine if, like, we held guilt or like anger or animosity towards somebody who conquered our nation 400 500 years ago i mean i guess i mean i, I it's hard bro. it's hard to be a you know just being an american like, it's but hard what, to call like, myself what i'm saying is, is I'm, am i mad at all french people nobody's because i'm american. german <laughs> like, yeah i am i'm not i am anytime i play total any total war empire dude i'm coming for the french no, no, well, i guess no, i guess i am a native France american so that is kind of like i guess I am so it is like a, 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 like America has kind of destroyed like Native American culture. It's my You're f- absolutely right, but I mean, is that something that we got to get blamed for? I mean, no, I don't think so. You didn't do anything. I mean, unless unless you like shot Native Americans or something, I don't think you're like or you know otherwise to deliberately oppress them. It's like, I don't think just a guy who is. I got over here. Place. My family came over here around like 1910. It's like I was a German fellow. Yeah, it's like, yo, what's up? Yeah, we were scared of World War One. So bunch of whops and crowds. Yeah, a bunch of crowds. But it is what it is. It's just one of those things where it's like I couldn't imagine holding animosity for like France because you know, at one point, Napoleon wiped out Prussia. And <laughs> like, you know, if you didn't have like a TV or you know or like anything, you know. Like an Xbox, you just like would just kind of go. You just sit there and like smoke cigarettes and just like I don't know, just hate something. It didn't even matter. War would be so sick if I didn't have Hell Divers to play. <laughs> if I didn't have Hell Divers too to play. A war would go so hard. I'd be like, oh, dude, I've been thinking about like this rules. I love Hell Divers. Dude, just fuck. I played guys. the first game, fucking hardcore. Like when it was a top down. I'm just happy like they changed up everything. Oh, totally I didn't get to pick my year to live. I mm-hmm. just realized that my the time machine year to live I didn't pick. What year you want? Because I think I would want to witness a modern, like a modern war, but I kind of might want to be, a like early Roman Empire, like early before they were like fully an empire. I don't want to know what that. Like was the like. Roman kingdoms and shit. Yeah, like fucking before they were like before it they were in their last leg. Like, and then it became yeah, an empire. before they were fallen. Like I'm talking. The Are you high- talking pre-republic? No, I'm talking like. Started taking shit over, like started oh, like way back. In yes, the day. I'm talking like Remy and Romula, who are or Romulus are still like a popular like that. <laughs> that was their name. About it. Yeah, I think it was. That's they sucked off a wolf's tit, and that's how they fucking created Rome. No, see, so yeah, I would try to go back to whenever like alchemists were super popular and like a real thing. I think forever. I think no, but there was a time when it was like a real like you like know apothecary. No, it was forever, and then people started getting mad about it. <laughs> yeah, like a certain I mean, subject of a Christian but I would, church. But I would just go and see like because the way the time machine works is that it's like it's like a watch, and you just get to you stand in a spot and you dial it back. And you can see what's going on around you. So I would just like try to identify, like research, like a specific, like, or like some guy who like was a legendary. You know, there's like a couple of different guys who were like who were actually like a mate, like the elixir. You know, whatever the philosopher's stone or something like that. Well, you want to be like an apothecary person. 
No, 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 no. Or straight up alchemy, Alchemist. like like yeah, like, dude, like, like Isaac like, Newton and shit like. Yeah, that. like I'm gonna like literally like turn like shit to gold, transmute. Shit. Try to do that. The yeah. best would probably be when the fucking Golden Dawn was super popular. And yeah, they create like the, like, the said, elixir, like the popular. thing, the like the whatever, like the philosopher's stones. You can like live forever. Yeah, you don't want a Golden Dawn era, whatever, whenever fucking. Ah, what would they be like the 1700s, 1800s secret society shit? I don't know. I would. I would just research it. and that's like what find. You want. I, I, I do like really hard research so I could find like a specific room to stand in. You that want eighteen hundreds Britain? I would just be able to dial it back and like try to figure out like seventeen hundreds even. Yeah, like late mid to late seventeen. No, I think I don't think you you can you can jump around a couple of times. It's Was there like, ever a height of alchemy? Like alchemy was like really figuring shit out. Like you know how there's like a golden age for like yeah, astrology and shit. I think or the astronomy. Me- medieval times. I think because they're making medicines and shit. But when before there was even less medicine than there was up till like the 1800s. You know what I mean? I think that's when alchemy was popping off. Okay. Oh, or shit. No, no, I'm gonna go to. Fucking, I wanna. I wanna go to the original Pythagoras school. I'm gonna enroll in oh, that. You wanna fucking wanna talk? <laughs> you're gonna enroll in that? Is what you mean? You're gonna fucking suck off an old dude to get into the Pythagorean <laughs> no, school? No, no. Take your bum in the Roman sunlight in front no. of the Hodges. Yeah, yeah, you are. That's what you meant by that. I know you're sick, sick Roman homosexual. They didn't teach me you that. You want to be the community boy. college philosophy class. <laughs> you want to be a thirteen year old boy, dude, fucking sucking some old chode, dude. I don't want to be some anybody's little pussy Roman boy. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. That's a you're a sick puppy, dude. <laughs> I just wanted to die in the war, dude. <laughs> I just wanted to die in the war. Dude. I want to learn the ancient secrets, dude. I'm gonna learn the original <laughs> theory. Wait, can dude. I learn some Secrets about yourself. <laughs> You're gonna learn some secrets. <laughs> like what fucking thank you is this no, fucking no, I'm cool going I'm gonna place. go to the Library of Alexandria. That's <laughs> yeah. where I chose now. I'm going back in time before. So the Alexander the Great <laughs> Library. Yeah, yeah. One easy payment of your anal virginity, dude. <laughs> you get to read all the books you want. <laughs> I'm gonna f- f- actually see that one statue was well, at um they got knocked down. It's like famous. Oh, oh, fucking Robert E. Lee. No, <laughs> that one? no, no, it's a Roman statue. <laughs> What's Robert Saddam Lee? Hussein? <laughs> Saddam Hussein. <laughs> that one, Roma, in there for a little bit. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> when the Goths attacked? Yes, the Is that what you mean? Saddam Hussein. Where was the other guy? Um, uh, Osama Gaddafi. No, Omar. Yeah, um, Omar Gaddafi. Omar Gaddafi. My name's Mo yeah. Gaddafi in Tarkov. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, they did him dirty. I still think that he was just trying to do cool stuff in America. It's like, nah, you ain't getting off our gold standard, bitch. You, you, you're our oil boy. I don't know. I've heard a lot on both sides. I've heard he's done a lot of fucked up shit, and then I heard he did some nuts, and then, then I heard all that shit was fake, and then it's just one of those things where it's like, you never really know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, it's really, really also, hard to be like, fucking, tra- I don't know. Traditional Islam is probably doing some bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing against the Islam At least boys. to other Islam. Inshallah to my brothers, but fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just, in, in the seventies, guys, you were uh, no, during the Iran Contra and shit like that. They'd probably smack a couple ladies around. Here yeah, and there. You know what I'm <laughs> He's probably mistreating his blankets. He might have married his first cousin. Didn't you say something really? You used to, we were playing a video game that was in Fallujah one time, and Gavin goes. He goes, ah, another beautiful day in Felicia. Not an ankle in sight. Yeah, an <laughs> That's the funniest sight. thing I've ever heard. And it's like came over the radio. Because when you talk in that game, like if you hold B, it comes over like a radio frequency and it sounds like an old timey radio. And it, it was just so funny. Just, ah, another beautiful day in Felicia. <laughs> Not an ankle in sight. <laughs> so Cuts good. out. Over. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that. I'm sorry. No, that's really funny. I have diet autism. Flag <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was cold from the nice corner. I should have re-upped the like Zinny dude before I got in here. Just started fucking... <laughs> Zintin? They're trying to ban that shit. That yeah, fucking... Lead. Come th- I, that's my 2A rights, dude. Come for my Zin. That's my 2. That's my... <laughs> that's <laughs> my D-Day. Dude. I'm, I'm going in. dude, they come for my Zin, dude. That's dude, they basically probably come, come from, from China, my China, dude. There's probably like a Chinese guy that licked every single one of those to test it. Good. Oh, no. I'm, that's why I'm hard. Every I'm down time I put one of these in my mouth. Oh, no. What's wrong with that? Oh, like, no. I get it's hard like, now <laughs> when I eat Zin. <laughs> 
So this history podcast got a little off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just a, this is a this is the prehistory kind of podcast. This is, but then we'll just we'll decide like what's like the earliest war to start on as like a topic for like the next one. You know what I'm saying? Do we have to do wars every well, time? Well, I don't know. Well, it could be any, like a specific topic, I guess. We could just come in here and talk about bullshit too. Uh, you're right. But it's fun. It's fun because you could like it's like I mean I I would get to like research something. That'd be kind of fun too, right? Mm-hmm. Just, like, fun. And just share what, you, and then just try to, but then I'll try to pre- present it in you know like a funny way. You ever seen? You, do you know what Verdun was? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> do you know what Verdun? Hey, was? You know, presenting that. In no, fun no, way. no. Really? <laughs> we should look up Verdun. Yo, what should we? Where should it's we start? The longest though? consecutive battle to ever take place ever. Let's think about it for a minute, though. Where do we start? Do we start? Do we? We gotta start early. If we gotta start early. Well, how talking. early are we talking about? Here? Well, we gotta talk about these civilizations too. You know what I mean? We could just pick something like white. We could probably just jump all over. Yeah, Why does it? It doesn't have to be in order. Why can't we just jump all over? You know, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about Verdun? Verdun. You got some offhand Verdun facts? Uh, I know. The, you yeah. know the reason they quit. Do you want to just talk about World War? We should talk about World War One in general right now. I think that why they quit. <laughs> I mean, I guess if we could go with like the first modern war. Which was World War One. Hey, let's just run World War One right now. I'm down for World War One. Make this my dick hard. The Civil War. What? I have a lot. Civil War is so gay, dude. I'm so tired of people liking the Civil War. Civil fucking sure. Let's talk. But if we talk about the Civil War, we gotta talk about the Revolution. I fucking hate the Civil War. Oh shit, boy. Okay, so we guess what? Antietam's gay. Gettysburg's gay. Gay as shit, dude. I'm so tired. I like the Civil War. Right? The Civil War is fine. Shut up about the Civil War, dude. Just shut the fuck up about the Civil War. It fucking ruled. What, what a retarded war. What a dumb no, war. It was history, dude. That was before we could have just won. gave black people independence and just been like, yeah, guys, chill. Half of us didn't want to. I guess we did. A certain Actually, subject of people. Didn't. Literally, what I was about to say was how the Civil War happened. So maybe I, what I'm saying, I'm getting a little too crazy about the Civil War. <laughs> I jumped the gun on the Civil War. I just always hear about the Civil Goddamn War. What about the I'm Revolution? Just, that fucking horse has been kicked. Yeah, the Civil War. Revolution. Revolution. Cool. We can go back to the Revolution. That yeah. would be the America's earliest war. World War is just so much cooler. Yeah, World War One was just it's so dope. The human slaughterhouse. You know how the trench warfare started? was when they would send out mass charges, fucking dudes would get stranded out there in the shell craters, and to reach other dudes, they would dig to reach mm-hmm. the other well, shell. Was that the France Ferdinand thing, or was that World War II? That, that was, was World War I. Another retarded war. That's why it began. What he went even was his, him. So, he, for Archduke Ferdinand was the, was the Archduke to Austria-Hungary, which was a joint empire between Austria and Hungary. <laughs> and he was going to take over because you know, their king that they had at the moment was very old and was sickly. Okay. And he was the guy who was going to take over. Now, he was going, I think, Serbia. Serbia. Right? He was going down to the border of Serbia because they've always had like a, a back and forth Serbia. <laughs> they have Serbia stinks. And a, and a Serbian Serbia. national, he was, he was a terrorist, <laughs> a, a, a part of an order called the Black Hand, saw him. Archduke Ferdinand parked, I think, outside of a restaurant. Or what something? even is an Archduke? <laughs> it's it's the next in line to be king. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Get it together. So, <laughs> so, like, you know, so this guy, his name what was Gabriel Princess. Like <laughs> so this assassin, his name Why is was Gabriel Princess. Why he was just the he was just the next in line so to be Austrian a prince, but like you know, it's like he was more... in Serbia, and a Serbian national named Gavrilo Princep, a nineteen-year-old boy who was part of a terrorist organization known as the Black Hand that fucked with Austria all the time. Freedom fighters. <laughs> yeah, it was freedom fighters. Uh, but he saw Archduke Ferdinand outside of a restaurant, and he pulls his pistol, walks up to the car, and smokes him and his wife. There's a cool little fact about this, though. The car, he missed the car. Like, he missed it. And he thought, he was like, well... I don't get to kill. Oh the yeah! Fucking before Archduke. he was supposed to assassinate him at a certain spot, and he missed, missed that car. time, and then and the catches car, him outside. The car rolled back around, and he goes, "No way! No fucking way!" And he got to do it. <laughs> and the car bikes, and he just rolls up. And he runs up, and he bla- he kills Archduke Ferdinand and Archduke Ferdinand's wife, and then because of that, Austria 
put a bunch of, like, okay, this is your fault, Serbia, because they go back and forth. You need to pay us and make reparations for us because of our Archduke being assassinated I'm in your in your. That sounds, sounds pretty fair. No, I thought they were just salty off rip and they're like, all right, fuck you guys. No, this happened after Archduke happened. Like, they were always probably going to go to war, but it escalated because of the assassination of the Archduke. And they say that was a false flag. Like, one of the governments paid another government to do that on purpose. Oh, I'm like, sure. like that. I'm sure somebody somebody had to be paying him for well, like, to do it. It was just all it was just all like uh, treaties and alliances that drug everybody into it. So Russia is cool with Serbia. This is how it happened. When Austria declared war on Serbia, the king of, of Russia at the time I can't remember his name. What's his name? Russia. Uh, the Russian, Nicholas. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, I can't remember what's his last name. Rovanov. It's the Rovanov dynasty. Was it Rovanov? I don't know if it was. Fuck. I thought it was King... No, wait, in World War One, no, it was King Nicholas because it was Rasputin and shit before the yeah. revolution. So, yeah, it, it was Nicholas. The king of Russia, we'll just say, backed Serbia. So they attacked Austria. Well, it just so happened that that fell under a certain regulation grounds for Germany to back Austria. So Germany backs Austria against Russia. Because Russia's cool if I think what? Is it fucking France or what? everyone over there? Russia's cool with like England and France. They're not cool with France. World War One, they were. They might have been, I guess. No, I thought they hated France so in the 1800s. I can't remember. I just watched Napoleon. My bad. But they back the, the <laughs> kingdom. The kingdom of Russia was down with, I think, England, and because Eng France was under England, that France and England joined together, so they backed Russia. And now it's a full fucking scale world war. Italy was supposed to join on the side of Germany and Austria, but didn't really feel the need to fight them, and what they or to fight England and France. So what they ended up doing was siding with England and France and attacking the Austrians. And they had some crazy battles up there in those mountains. There's a thing the called River Valley. Yeah, there's this thing called the Grenadiers Leap, and. <laughs> these Italian dudes ran out of ammo while defending a point and when the Austrians came in they were fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat and then the fucking grenadiers that were there would try to like grab multiple dudes and drag them down like rip them off the cliff so because they got pushed back to the cliff face and they're fighting with clubs and shit <clears throat> and they would like just hug a German <clears throat> hug an Austrian and take him off the cliff with them Dang. and there's like people from another outpost like watching it happen that's how people know about it. They're like, I so think it was the Austrians. Tactic, you know, if you're trying to take somebody out, yeah, just like well, body them. The, the Austrian, it like shook the Austrians because I think it was the Austrians oh, from damn. a different outpost watching and watching them like purposely grab dudes and rip them off the cliff. And they're like, I don't know if we got this. <laughs> I don't know. If we t we're taking these yeah. mountains, dude. <laughs> so that's basically how World War One started. Yeah. And Everybody then they were backed using, each other, and then they just got into a fucking conflict. And this is right out of the late 1800s. So this is muskets and shit. This is line muskets and cavalry, and you know, like powder guns. Like this is like Napoleon's era. In the 1800s, Apparently, Napoleon was earlier, but like this is like still that mindset of battle. But motherfuckers had machine guns. Like and so, rifles. they're chart yeah, bolt action rifles now, and they're using these old tactics at the beginning of the war, like, like cavalry charges equipment. into machine gun yeah. lines, and people would get. Not it smart. was like it, disgusting, like how bad it was, and dudes would get trapped out there in in, in new artillery. So the artillery is way bigger, grenades are better. All this shit. And grenades are a thing, like common. Yeah, and dudes would get stuck out there, and you can't get up and run because you're getting gunned down. And so what they would do is they would be stuck in shell craters or wherever they're at and they would dig holes and they would stay in the holes overnight and then they would hear their friends and they would dig over to their friends and that's like how the first rudimentary like uh what the fuck like trench system started so those dudes would like hang out and they're like hey you got to go back to base and tell them we have fortifications here to send more people so we can make more and they would artillery them send people in and that's how like the trench warfare thing started and they tried to outflank each other to the ocean, and they got there at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we should build our own trenches, you know what I'm saying? We when shit build. goes down, dude, you got a yard over here. <laughs> I know, We yeah. can build a fucking fortification, dude. I think. I need a zombie apocalypse team. I got body armor and an AR. I got an AR. I got lots and lots and lots of guns. <laughs> if you need a gun, come see old Gavin. Dude. I gotta take a piss. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's a decent podcast. That's 58 minutes, dude. See, it's, it's a good precursor, you know, 
That's where I start. Maybe next time we'll start more on World War One, dude. Right? Yeah, maybe we can talk about specific battles, or we can go up to World War Two. Yeah, maybe that is shit. What we should do? We should start with World War One. Yeah. Fucking get more in depth in the World War One, cause I'm down. We could start on a front too. We could talk about the Winter Wars and shit. Yeah, too. we should do. Do you guys want to do the? We started. We were talking about Nicholas and shit. So you want to do the Russian side first? Sure. And then do the Eastern Front or Western Front or Eastern Front? Yeah. Sure. I think that'd be sick. We can do all three fronts, really. We can do the Eastern Front, the Southern Front, and the Western Front. Yeah, and then we could we could talk about like the the white and how they rats. fought because yeah, we can talk about that. We can talk yeah. about Russia because that caused Russia to leave. Like the war, Russia opted out of World War One because they after faced that. a revolution. <laughs> yeah, like pretty early into it too, and it was like a crazy revolution that affected the rest of the world up until now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that the Red Revolution like changed the scape for one hundred years everything. almost. Yeah, like changed literally the scape of everything. Like uh, yeah, like that. That was weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, just because there's the nothing wars. like that before. It was like the first revolution against like those powers like the weird monarch powers right. and shit like that mm -hmm. wacky oh yeah just trying to figure it out for ourselves yeah it's fucking cool alright well there you go have a podcast that's a podcast welcome